let's take a look at these Illumicon connectors and see how we can make connections between aluminum wire and copper wire or aluminum and aluminum wire with these connectors. When I put these wires into this connector, I like to make sure they're all the way in. Now I have my inch pound screwdriver set to 10 inch pounds. So we'll torque that down and we'll take a look at the wire and what happens inside of there. So these connectors are There are small versions of a larger aluminum connector. And we have quite the track record with main service lines and one wire and one line. Uh, be insane. When I come and lose for starting fires. And you can see there, this aluminum wire has a round depression in it. Now, this will keep that wire from moving in and out or side to side, expanding, loosening up. I'll increase the inch pound screwdriver to 15 for the copper wire. Both of these wires are 12 gauge. So the copper wire is a different setting than the aluminum wire. So we'll try this out. So these connectors make a very tight connection. And that is your worst enemy when it comes to aluminum wire is your connection. And we can see here it did the same thing. It has a round uh, depression in it that makes a very tight bending. So one one wire, one connector, and that's why these are very good. Now it takes a lot to make aluminum wire dangerous. But definitely the connections, heat, and then the heat breaks down the insulation, then you get oxidation, that poor connection gets worse, then we start having parking problems, and possibly worse. So you can see the round part of that, this connector that forms that depression in the wire. That's, that's how we get that, that connection from copper and aluminum. and it makes a very good connection. So, this connector, I mean, this one's gonna fail. You have a lot of wires with a crimp connector in there. So you can see, it is night and day between this crimp connector and the Illumicons. This is just gonna fail. Too many wires and it's crimp together the wires expanding and contracting, made a little bit of heat, destroying insulation, corrosion, and we have problems. And I believe that's a copper band on there too. What we can see here, this is this same kind of connection, aluminum band. 
it's a crimp, but there's not as many wires in there, didn't heat up, didn't cause all them problems, and this connection's fine. Not that it won't cause problems in the future, but it's not causing problems right now.